Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again as the deleted once more. This time we are going as the next version of the deleted, which I can't actually remember who that is. So we shall be finding out. I think it's the I Love You one, the one that's very strong. Um, so let's give that a go, shall we, and see how we progress. So, um, extracts. It's the one after Happy 99. Yeah, I love you. Red Hearts only corrupted items no longer have negative effects. Basically, yeah. This character is nutty. Um, Red Heart certainly does make it slightly harder, but we have Charm Shot to start with, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of uh, corrupted effects. In fact, with this character, it's kind of... We want to be corrupting pretty much everything. Now, this is a horrible, horrible room for the first floor. I don't know who thought it would be a fun idea to have four of these enemies in one room. That is horrendous. <laughs> The good thing is, the charm allows them to kill themselves sometimes. Also, this is a lot of big rooms. Wow. Um, hopefully, yeah, we don't get too many bad ones. Still, the, the the cube enemies, they do they do worry me some. They do worry me some. God damn, yeah, so this, is this an XL floor? This is a lot of big rooms for a regular floor. That's, that's really weird. Okay, we'll try our best. And yeah, we probably want to be corrupting everything that isn't like an absolute banger of an item. Because we can get some really cool things. I also think we have no downside to checking the corrupted version first. Um, yeah, there's no downside. So, on hit 17% chance, um, on bomb, that's actually pretty bad. We'll take this. And I think we can use it to stomp this, but I'm just going to bomb it for now. Um, oh, okay, good. I was just about to say we don't get anything for that. What the hell kind of heart is that? I do not know. Some sort of crispy pancreas. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of how uh, insane all of the rooms are right now. We're, we're, um, we're having to uh, kill a lot of enemies here. But like I said, the charm is helping a ton. And yeah, the boots allow us to basically walk over gaps. I don't think the boots destroy rocks from what I remember. But yeah, they basically whenever we're near a gap, it allows us to just walk right over it. It's really nice. As for the question of the day today... Um, Hmm, this is a hard one. I want, it to, I want it to be something to do with the I love you, um, I love you character. What's what's something that you love and you reckon you will always love? Whether it be a person, or an item, or an animal, or anything. What's something that you really, really love? For me, obviously it's my girlfriend, but also, it's garlic. <laughs> I, I also just really love cats in general. I really want a cat, but my girlfriend is really badly allergic to them, so there's a pretty low chance that I get one anytime soon. Oh, that was a very bad, very bad bit of movement from me there. Um, but I do love cats so much, and I really want one. But yeah, food-wise, ooh, garlic. Um, while held, every golden chest has 25% chance to turn into all chests. That's insanely good. Um, okay. Use error walk. Every kill, 75% chance to get whatever this is until the next floor. Use bad egg. Plus one speed. Each cursed room spawn a rotten beggar. Each room get a temporary thing that removes a broken heart. Um, on eternal heart, summon two dark balls of smoke. Uh, each boss kill spawn 12 throwable bombs. Why not? We also got this. 3% chance for pickups and rocks and poops to become their golden version. Okay, that sounds even better. And this is a golden version of that. So, I think that should end up being 6% for everything to become a golden version, which is actually a really, really high percent. I wonder if that... Wait, wait a minute, let me just drop it and check. Oh, I can do this to check, actually, can't I? For pickup... It includes pickups. Okay. I was going to say, does it work for, like, golden pennies? It seems to. There's a red heart in here that I didn't pick up. It seems to be that it will also work for red hearts, which I think is pretty nutty. That could really lead to some crazy stuff. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. I really should be destroying the poops to see if I can get a golden penny. Um, yeah, 6% chance is very high. If that is what I was working, it might actually be 1.5% and it's being doubled up to 3. But normally modded trinkets don't display the doubled effect chance. So I'm going to reckon that it actually is... Um, it actually is 6. Which is, like I said, insane. Also, yeah, the boots here for just knocking enemies back is really nice. Especially when he's doing his flying thing. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I said that and immediately regretted my words. We've charmed you. You can't you can't shoot me now. You're charmed. Which actually is the case. You're not shooting me. It's just nice. 
get oh so there's the 12 throwable bombs which for the most part probably isn't gonna be super useful we also got four of that item which gave us plus four damage i don't know what that item is Yeah, I don't know what that what that item is, but it gave me damage, so probably pretty good. And I, I don't get them permanently. I just get them after the boss. But I kept the damage, though. Okay. I kept the damage. Okay, I think we're pretty set, then, if we're going to be getting damage. Okay, so we, we got this item again here on killing an enemy. Um, doesn't seem to do much for us, so I don't exactly know what I'm getting out of that. So far, this is a very good setup, though. I'm liking this. I need more health, definitely. Health is something that we're really, really struggling on. Oh, no. Our, um, the, this trinket here, I thought it would be smelted onto us, but in fact, it just takes over our trinket slot. So our golden chances are, uh, are unfortunately dead. Which is a shame. And basically, now we can't carry any other trinkets. Dude, the boots are insane right now. The boots are doing a great job. I wonder if having multiples of this item is going to cause the same problem as last time and just end up crashing the game eventually. I guess we'll see. But yeah, no, no golden things for us anymore. We've been pretty much everywhere we need to go here. Do our boss. So let's see if we get another plus four damage at the end of this boss. Or if that was just a fluke. I don't really know. We got plus 16 damage this time. Ooh. Alright then. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try and find a key for our item room. Okay. Uh, we have 23 damage now. And it seems like... I, I think maybe this item gives you, like, a bonus to damage after you kill a boss, maybe. And because we have so many of them, it's giving us a crazy bonus. That's my... That's my presumption right now. Whatever this item does is giving us some, quite a lot of damage. There's the key. Lovely. Yeah. This... This run is wild. <laughs> This run's gonna get real crazy real fast. Our damage is gonna scale up probably to in the hundreds by the end of the game. Um, and we'll just... We can't really bit flip this, to be honest. We got the bottomless bag, which I don't know what that does. Um, I can press this... I can hold tab to check out... Check, actually. Upon use, gain invincibility, hold up the bag and suck up all nearby projectiles for four seconds. Holding the shoot button releases the suck projectiles as homing tears in the matching direction. Okay, that's pretty good. So we, we gain invulnerability um, and hold up the bag. Okay. Okay. Seems good to me. But yeah, if we hold this trinket, we should see that it just gets removed from us eventually. But yeah, we're going to be having a lot of damage on this run. A lot and a lot of damage. I just need some more HP. HP is really bad right now. I'm not getting any other red hearts. Oh, bad. Right, so, okay, my mistake there. Oh, wait, we did, we did suck up a few of them. We did suck up a few of them. So if I, if I now use it again, dude, I just want to hold it above my head and see if I can, dude, the boots, I think the boots scale with damage, um, so they're really nutty. I didn't think about that, but it seems to be that the boots scale with damage, because it is just wiping out droves of enemies right now. Like, absolutely decimating everything in its path. Like, I just walk near things and they die. And as our damage gets crazier, um, we'll have angel items for sale instead of a normal item. That could be interesting. I need to obviously get enough money to make that valuable. But The next button you press... Okay, let's just do that then. You choose right. So whenever I'm pressing right, I get a stat boost. There's some pennies. Oh my god, yeah, we have so many of these items. Yeah, these enemies are a bit immune to my, uh, my charms. So don't go into that item room yet. Try and get the money first. Ow. Bastard, man. Really need HP.
No bombs, just HP, please. Oh my god, I just said no bombs, just HP, please. What do you understand about that? Alright, oh, can we maybe find a secret room somewhere? I don't actually know where it would be. Probably just up and to the left, right? Left, right? Up and to the left, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. On activation, um, on active use, get a Saturnus till the next floor. Get uh, safety scissors, 33% chance to spawn two blood explosions. It's decent. That's quite nice. I like that. Okay. Didn't quite get the money we wanted, so I think we're going to go and open up the golden chest in here. In the hopes of getting one penny. That was more than one penny, so I'm pretty happy. That's a golden bomb as well there, nice. Okay. The Saturnus rings are going to be very powerful. Okay. Item room, we're on our way. We are on our way. I love the fact that I've got mini Isaacs with the little love heart eyes and everything. It's so cute. It's so damn cute. And this is the vanilla wafer. For every full red heart lost in an active room, half a heart is refunded and room clear. That's actually really good for us, yeah. I will just take that as it is. I should probably have checked the flipped version just in case, but... But we should get an insane amount of damage for uh, beating this room. Okay, slight problem. Multi-phase enemies all drop the 12 bombs. I did not think about this. I'm almost dead. Oh, this is impossible. The bombs just throw and push more bombs into me. I also didn't get an item for finishing this room. Get me the hell out of here. I don't know why I didn't get an item. But I did get plus 65 damage. Okay, multi-phase bosses ain't good for us. <laughs> But yeah, I now have 80-something 80, 80 damage, so damage-wise, we're looking very good. Everything's looking just fine. The Emperor, we might as well just do this. Whoever it is, you're getting bonked. Dude, can you not sit behind everything that makes you invincible, please? There you go. And we got plus- yeah, it definitely is depending dependent on the amount of these um, thingies we get. I don't get why we're not getting boss items anymore. I'm not sure what we've picked up to cause that. Oh God, we're almost, if I die with 93 damage, that's not gonna be a good look for me. I can't, I can't touch that, it could kill me. Didn't expect these enemies. That's a very good item. Um, I think we just take the item as is. Oh god. <laughs> the fire's size scales with damage. That's quite a big fire. These enemies are really not good for us because we can't insta-kill them. Fire ult does kill them pretty quick though. I'm gonna have to go in here to try and buy a heart. Unfortunately, did not get a heart. Did get a half heart here though, that's good. I see you there, mushroom fella. 
I'll take this just in case. X Lex. This is, yeah. <laughs> I told you the I love you run. It's always quite nutty. We got some pretty insane stuff going on today. No uh, key to get in there. We lost our angel uh, trinket. Health is just so, so scarce right now. I always feel like that's the case. When you need, need when you've got soul heart only character, there's no soul hearts to be seen. When you're a red heart only character, there's no red hearts to be seen. Hey, we've got safety scissors though, that's nice. Okay, these guys fart us into the spikes. We've got to be very careful about them. There's our 12 bombs. So yeah, just, we just don't get a boss item. Maybe the way that this item works is that it removes our chance. Like, it, it, we don't get a boss item. Instead, we always get a set amount of damage. But with this item, we... Well, like, maybe you get plus one damage or maybe you get like 0.5 or 0.7 or whatever. But with this version of having multiple of them we always get a shit ton of damage because we have so many of them i'm gonna guess that's how it works considering i'm not getting a boss item that to me is the only logical reason why we wouldn't get a boss item i really do not like the uh spawn a billion bombs every time we kill an enemy it's definitely problematic for us also i just keep getting hit Ooh, we got a revive there. That's really good. So now we actually have a little bit of safety. These things don't work at the minute, did they? Oh no, they, they did drop stuff. Last time I broke one of those, didn't drop anything. This this um purple fire is definitely going to hit me very shortly. Fire will consume you. It will consume your soul. Yeah, this is what I, I think the deleted runs get more fun the more mods you have on. Because there's just so many weird effects for it to choose from and so many just ridiculous game breaks like this that you can get. Because like every floor, the floors get bigger, which means I get more of this item. Which means I get more damage at the end of every floor. Which means that the next floor I have even more damage and it just keeps scaling and scaling and scaling. Um, we've got every 12 rooms get one uh, wisp on 14 kills spawn seven trinkets Ooh. on hit use uh, wavy cap each room use a pill that's pretty bad I'm gonna take this one instead the the spawn seven trinkets sounds fun but every 14 kills is very often Yeah, every 14 kills would mean we'll be, we'll be getting them tons. They'll be everywhere, and it'll be a pain in the ass. It'll be in the way. I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, I see. It added, it added rotten hearts. I thought it meant yuck heart. I thought I was going to gain the yuck heart item. That's fine. The, our flies will do an insane amount of damage, so that's good at least. We're not getting hit too much at the minute anyways. It's only stupid shit that I'm hitting myself too, really. And yeah, like I said, the flies are going to be doing crazy damage, so... In that regard, I don't really mind. Because <laughs> everything is going to get annihilated if you go anywhere near any of these flies. Okay, these guys are going to spawn bombs again. Every segment spawns a fucking bomb. Just get the hell out of the way of them. Very annoying. Gained 37 damage there. And then we gained... I didn't gain any damage there, okay. Can only occur once by the looks of it. We actually got an angel deal here. Pascal Candle's probably pretty good for us, actually. Um, and then I might as well do the um, angel deals here. Right. 
Right. Get speed. Each room summon two times pentagram black powder. Um, on active use, 2% chance to use wavy cap a billion times instead of dying once. Yeah, that sounds actually like an absolute laugh. Um, also, we'll take that. And then we also spawned an item down here, which is our other active. Um, yeah. Boss rush. This would be a bad idea. Uh, every 10 seconds, summon two rifts. Uh, first hit. Okay, I don't really care about that. Get honey until hit upon going to the next floor. Get almond milk until hit upon going down to the next floor. 1% chance to gain tears. One damage on bomb. 10% chance to spawn spike chests. One luck instead of dying, use a pill. None of those really got me super interested. Um, we'll do negative here. Let's keep it going. This is some craziness right here. And I am all for it. Hey, we finally got one of our wisps. After 12 rooms. We got Baby Bender there. I don't think that's really going to do much for us. Right. 173 damage so far. Hundred and seventy six, sorry. I can't read. I just about to say do we have flight? No, we can just walk over pits. I forgot about that. Also, our active is now this, which I didn't foresee. So this is actually kind of good on this floor, because we have that mock wafer, we'll take full heart damage on these floors, but we'll always get back half a heart at the end of the room. Also, I, I think because I've got double rotten hearts, one hit will insta-kill me. I'm not 100% sure. That might, that might be something that can happen. But I do have a revive, so it's not end of days if that does happen. It doesn't actually matter that much. God damn, we're getting to the point where tears, is, tears and fire is so big that we just can't see. But we are having very much a good time, so beeline it through these rooms. So we did die there. Um... I had two different versions of revives there. And you can see, you can even see that one of them procced by giving me two times money equals power. And I had the Enigma revive and none of them worked. Can I do, um, I thought you said yes in my console. Uh, rewind. Okay. I'm rewinding because that's BS. <laughs> Right. What did I do wrong there? Okay, I see, I see, I see. I didn't really understand the room for a hot second, but yeah, I had revives. I'm 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 justifying this to myself, because I I had the ability to get out of there just fine, and the game was just like, no. <laughs> All of your revives do nothing now, but no. I had the revives, so I'm reviving myself. And I think you guys will think that's fair as well. Especially considering you want a, you probably want a longer episode. Or at least I hope you want a longer episode. So I'm sure we're all in agreement that that's fair. Hello, death. This time I got plus 51 damage. Very nice. Bottled fairy. Um, each boss kill, use soul converter. Each box, use... Um, I think that's a uh, unicorn stump. Every kill, 30% have a chance to, chance to get chocolate milk. I don't think we need any of that. Although, actually, oh, I, should have, I should have put it down and checked what my box was there. Uh, checked what effects my box had when bit flipped. I didn't think to do that. I did not think to do that. Okay, this guy will drop bombs, weren't he? I can't remember. Does this guy drop bombs? No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. We are on a mission. We are on a mission. Let's go get it done. See, there's another enigma. That's what should have revived me. 
That's what BS'd me last time. It did the dirty to me. The fire. We just can't see, it's great. I don't know where the things I'm actually meant to be shooting are. There's clearly something else in this room I'm meant to kill. There you go. A mystery for another time. More soul hearts. I do like the fact that soul hearts have a use still, though. That was a shame on, on characters that can only take soul heart health, where red hearts do absolutely nothing. There is a few mods out there that fix that, though. Although, from what I've seen, quite a lot of them are very overpowered. Like, the there's, there's one that adds it so that you get wisps for um, red hearts as the lost. That one seems busted. Like, it, it got a video from Huts, but even after it got nerfed, it still seems real strong. Um, I just think, like, as a character like the Lost, I like I like the idea of taking red hearts and making them do something, but giving them such power. I like I prefer the idea of the heart tokens that allows you to make like use demon beggars and stuff. How much damage this time? No damage this time. Okay, and we did take the negative, so we'll go dark path. We could try and do hush, I guess. It's very risky, but I have a lot of damage. Let's give it a go. It's very risky. We got a tiny planet. Every kill, 10% chance to get 10. That's pretty bad. Gain a, um, an empty heart container. Each room, use reverse moon card. Again, none of them are super inviting to me. Plus one luck. Each room get toast until next floor. Oh, it glitches out the reflectedness of it. 8% uh, chance for tears to transform some enemies into weaker versions of themselves. Scales to 20%. Currently incompatible with portfolio enemies. I think I'm just going to take that. And then with this one, I'm not actually sure. Maybe I do take Tiny Planet. Oh god, it makes the fires circle around me too. I forgot about that. Jar of flies is probably going to be insane. Spawn nine keys. Okay. Kind of a good chance we, we die here. But I took the risk. Yeah, okay. I did not consider the fact that I would not be able to see, like, at all. So there's a there's a basically 100% chance we definitely die. I did not think about this. My brain is too small. Also the fires do not seem to want to dissipate. Yeah, I've been hit already. I'm definitely dead here. I did not think this through at all. Especially taking Tiny Planet. I mean, we're killing him pretty fast. And we've got like a sliver. A sliver of which we can see here. He's not dying as fast as I would have hoped, though. I'm hoping he just spawns a bunch of ads so I can get a bunch of flies on him. Right, I think I've just got to stay here. Oh, I just got spurred. Oh, wait. Using this gives me a bunch of Saturnuses if I just spam it. Do I want more than one? I mean, I got spurred for having more than one. That's good. This attack, I'm just at the whim of luck. The whim of the game. Spawn some flies or something, you big idiot. You big earth. Oh god, the fires are back. The fires went away for a while, but they're back now. Oh god, I'm more aggressive than ever. 
Oh god, what's up, Fox? Yep, what's up, Fox? We do have a revive, though. Will it work? It did. Nope, doesn't matter. The fires, they betrayed me. <laughs> Anyways, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.